Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Oh, am I the only one who's kind of disappointed that the Valentine's event is over? Because that was my first ever Valentine's event and I just I just enjoyed it so much. It was a lot of fun. But I am excited for this new update. And look at the new screen when you join Wild Horse Islands. Isn't it so cool? I love it so much. I just think it's super cool. Um, every time you join, it's going to be something different. Right now, I'm looking at RP Island, the tent area. Super cool. Alright, let's join. Wow, the market update is here. Let's go check everything out. I think I want to start by going to my island because that is where your market's going to be. Wow, my first impression is the docks. They look so different and so cool. Okay, so my market is right over here i only have one stand currently that's what we should all have unless you know you start updating it oh it's so cool let's just tie up maverick and check everything out there's also an access storage box but yeah i don't i haven't unlocked that yet with robux so i want to start by putting something up on the market and seeing what we could put up or sell um i'm just gonna try a piece of tack you know, I have a lot of Valentine's altars. I wouldn't mind selling a couple of those for coins. I am completely poor. If you know my friend's channel, Peachily, she just posted a video about the new update and she was like saying she's broke. She has like 34k. I only have 922 coins. Oh my goodness. Anyways, um, I don't know what I'd price it to. So the minimum for a Valentine's halter is... 201 coins and you know the max you can go up to is 200,999 wow i don't think anyone's gonna buy a valentine's altar for that much so i might just price it up to like you know i don't know 250 okay so after that you need to um enter the buy now price I don't know. I think I'd do it for 260, just like 10 more coins. I don't know. Is that expensive for a Valentine's culture? I'm pretty sure everybody has a lot of those. Um, anyways, it looks super cool. My bids are opening soon. And you know, anyone who visits my island and they're interested can either bid their price and I can either accept it unless I get a better bid or... They can buy it now for the buy now price. Okay, so now I'm over at Evelyn's Island and I'm going to be checking out what she has for sale. She also told me that she was going to be upgrading her market and I was curious to see what that looks like. Alright, I'm just going to tie up Maverick. And if you didn't notice, he now has head bobbers that I got from Cupid and a tail bow. Also polar ups. Um, I couldn't find any polar ups. I've been looking at Abby's accessories, so you know I just gave up. And crafted myself some and then you know what the next day there were polar ups at abby's accessories crazy so evelyn has a neon yellow head bow up on her market the minimum bid is 336 coins and the buy now price is 840 evelyn that is expensive i'm pretty sure you can get that cheaper at abby's accessories <laughs> so make sure you guys aren't getting scammed for your coins because if People are trading accessories that you can just get at, you know, Abby's accessories. Um, but I'd make sure to double check both prices. I mean, if you want. So as a customer, I guess you could say, um, when I look at Evelyn's market stand, you can press see the information of the item that she is putting up for sale. So I can just see that it's a head bow, like a pretty head bow. And I can either press buy now or add bid. I think I'm just going to do add a bid. I don't really want to buy it though, so I just want to see what this does. Um, only because I think I already have it, but I think I'm just going to bid 330 tokens. All right, wow. So the current bid is my bid. Nice. That's pretty cool. I think it would definitely be cool if Wild Twist Islands, you know what, like in the near future, let us 
you know, sell our horses as well at the market stands. I think that'd be really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and watch Evelyn upgrade her barn. Oh, wow, nice. It now has two stands up, so she's able to sell two items. I wonder how much that cost. I think I'm going to go check my island and see how much that cost. Okay, so I'm over at my island. Oh, so with your market, you can change the colors as well, like the primary, secondary, and matte color. And to upgrade it for the first time, it costs 2,500 tokens. And as you can see, I do not have enough. And did you guys notice that behind the market stand, there are these two new little islands? They're just like, you know, just like a little mountain and some grass. I don't know what you use them for, but they're super cool. Okay, guys, over at Larry. Uh, and I just got disconnected. Okay, I'm back. So over at Larry, you got to check out that there are now tax vouchers. So it says, use this when selling items in your market area to avoid all taxes. One voucher is consumed on use. They do cost Robux, but they will come in handy to if you want to get them to avoid all the taxes, which is basically just like in real life, there are no taxes in the game. So basically what you know taxes do is uh, when you're selling stuff at your market, a portion of that profit will you know go to the game. Just a little portion, I'm sure. One more interesting thing. Well, Evelyn just said Rosemary's back. She um, is not going to be... She fully maxed Rosemary now. So she, she's going to be riding around her more because that is one of her mains along with Romeo. Anyway, so um, one of the last things is you can now press inspect on any horse, anyone's horse. And you can see their horse or your horse in greater detail. Like with Rosemary right now, I'm rotating her to see, you know, just every angle of her. Um, you can also adjust the speed to see how they run, walk, trot, canter, things like that. And you can see her stats at the bottom and you can even change the view. There's even a button at the bottom right corner where you can see the horse with tack on or without. Alright guys, that's going to be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on this video and comment if you want to. I love reading your guys' comments. Subscribe if you aren't already. Your support means the world to me. You have no idea. Before I let you guys go, um, I just want to let you know that there's going to be a little surprise in the near future. Um, if you want a little sneak peek of what the surprise is, check my community tab on my YouTube channel. Or you're already on my YouTube channel. Just go my channel and check the community tab for a little sneak peek of what the surprise might be. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have fun playing Wild Horse Islands with this new awesome market update. Have a great day or night. See you guys next time. Horses at heart.